and I am wearing bunny slippers. These are my bunny slippers. Let's get into the video. Why does the boiler have to turn on right now? <laughs> Shush boiler. Nobody asked you. Hello guys and welcome to another self care Sunday. Yes, it's me, I'm back. And today we are vlogging. One of the things that I love to do on a self care Sunday is indulge my hobbies. Now I love to bake. I don't do it very often. Um, but when I do, I like to do it on a self care Sunday. And let's, you know, it's Sunday, let's go. My friend from Italy has sent me over a recipe for some apple muffins. She said that they're low calorie and they're a bit of a healthy twist on it, so I'm gonna try it out. I've never made this recipe before, so mm, <laughs> it should be fine, it should be fine, but I'm gonna just bring you along with me for the journey. I'm not gonna make this a follow along video, it's more gonna be a vlog of just the journey of making these muffins. Um, but I think if you wanted to make the muffins, you would be able to use this video to do that. So if you want to follow along with me, you can. Um, I will make sure that I put all of the weights and things, like the ingredients and stuff. Um, but let's get started. Here is everything that you're going to need if you want to follow along with me. These apples are really, really small. I, I, I don't know. I, I wanted small apples. <laughs> but you're going to need plain flour. Uh, sugar, yeast, this is yeast, it doesn't come in a packet like this, it comes in like a sachet, two eggs and four apples. Now, like I said, I chose to use small apples, if you want to use bigger apples and have more apple in your muffins, that's fine. Um, my friend's recipe does not involve any spices, but I really love like spiced apple flavoured things, so I've got some cinnamon here, um, some nutmeg, and uh, some allspice, um, they are available from other providers. <laughs> and uh, so the first thing she says on her in uh, instructions is to peel these apples. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, I've finished peeling the apples. I have some apple peel here that I'm gonna take and I'm gonna give it to the bunny. Hello. Hello, Munchkin. You want this? Oh, is that nice? Very happy bunny. Okay, bunny cuteness all over. <laughs> Back to making muffins. So, uh, now that I have peeled all the apples, I have to chop them into small cubes, it says in my WhatsApp message. So, <laughs> let's get on to that. Okay, that is my apples all chopped up. Next, I have to weigh my flour and my sugar. Sugar next, I'm gonna put sugar in this bowl. So now my flour and sugar are weighed, which is awesome. I have got to weigh out 100 grams of butter and then let me check, let me check this. Right, you need to calm down. <laughs> there we go. The scales aren't on. <laughs> the butter was dramatic, I'm so sorry. Anyway, so I think I've weighed everything. Oh no wait, I haven't weighed the yeast. Okay, the yeast is in the flour. Now it's time to start mixing everything. Okay, I'm gonna add the eggs, egg number one. Okay, now egg number two. Okay, next on the list is sugar. Done. Then she says flour and yeast. <laughs> okay, that's it. Excellent. Then the butter. The butter is in the bowl. Then she says the apples. Before I put the apples in, I'm gonna add my spices. Now remember, these spices are not in my friend's recipe. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of cinnamon, 
half a teaspoon of allspice and half a teaspoon of nutmeg. So I'm gonna do that now. We're gonna have to get you a better angle. I don't know if you'll fit in my cupboard. <laughs> um, yeah, if I take the sauces out, you'll fit in the cupboard. Okay, apple is gonna go in, or should I mix? Uh, or maybe she made her apples really small and that's why she could mix it, right? Okay, let's do this. Interesting. Like, it's really thick. The butter is not mixing in very well. I'm really glad I didn't add the apples yet because that would have been a whole mess. Um, I'm gonna keep mixing this and then hopefully the butter will mix in better. And then I will add the apples and then I will get back to you because um, yeah, I'm, I'm dramatic. <laughs> Welcome back to my crazy kitchen. So I've fully calmed down now. Um, I'm gonna show you what we're working with. I've added the apples to the mix. Now it's a really stiff mix. It's kind of like a really sticky bread dough, um, which doesn't surprise me because it's got yeast in it. But at the same time, I'm like, is this right? So, so we're, you know, like I say, this is an experience we're going through together. I've never done this before either. So uh, let's take a look. Yeah, this is the kit, like, it's so, like, heavy? I mean, yeah, <clears throat> it's heavy. I don't know how this is gonna go. I've got some spoons here that I'm gonna use to put it into my baking tray, which you can see I've already greased. Uh, I used a pastry brush and just ran a little bit of um, neutral oil, like, I think it was uh, rapeseed oil just around the tray uh yeah <laughs> i think it's funny that i distinctly remember telling you guys i do baking to relax it's a hobby of mine and here i am like uh, throughout the whole thing but i swear to you i really love it <laughs> i'm gonna divide this mix into 16. the oven is like so ready it's been ready for ages i don't know man this Looks like it might not go well. <laughs> they might, well they've got yeast in them, right? So they should puff up. I've put them in a really shallow muffin tin. Oh my God, they're gonna overflow. <laughs> um, Because I was trying to keep them small. She said to divide the mix into 16 and this is the only tray I have that has 16 available parking spaces, so. <laughs> We shall see. Okay, so the mixture's been divided into 16 and it's now in the tray. I'm going to put it in the oven for 25 minutes, I think she said. Uh, this is what we're dealing with. This is how, how the situation is going. Uh, again, I have very little faith in this right now. Let's be optimistic. Okay, I'll see you in 25 minutes. So they're out the oven and it's time for the big reveal. Did they work? Did they not work? Are they awful? Did I burn them? Is this a mess? Is this everything? It's everything. <laughs> they worked! Wait one sec. Look! Yes! Muffins! But look! They look amazing! Oh, yes. Yummy. 
They are just out the oven. I've not tried one yet. Should I try one? Okay, I'll try one. Okay. I'm gonna take the small one. Okay. It smells good and it's still warm. Oh my God. This is so good. Mm. Excuse me, like talking with my mouth off. The apple in that is amazing. It tastes like apple pie. Oh my God. This has been amazing. I'm so happy that this worked out because if it had gone horribly wrong, I would have been very upset. <laughs> but those are amazing. Highly recommend. It's a bit of a weird one, um, especially because the dough is like, well, it is like a dough instead of a cake batter and then somehow it works, but somehow it works, somehow it works. Um, I will make sure all of the details that you need are in the video if you wanna make them yourself. I'll put like a little, I don't know, ingredients list at the end or something if you want and you can screenshot it or something. Um, but yeah, so this has been fun. I'm going to not eat all of these at once. <laughs> I'm going to have some self-control. Trust me, believe me, I will. Um, yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for being here for another self-care Sunday. I know this was a bit of a mad one, a bit weird. <laughs> That's my vibe. <laughs> but thank you. Keep track of our social media. Remember that we are constantly posting on our stories. I'm sure that I'll throw a slide in here somewhere for you guys to get all the information if you don't already follow us, but let's be honest, you probably already are. And thank you for joining me for this. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.